sir, the coos is in Brussels. Bit of a rough journey over. Now been awake for over 30 hours. But one of the first things I heard waiting in that immigration line was a few crypto bros discussing that $37 million Polkadot marketing spend news from last week. Seems to have made an impact. But even though the marketing bounty, like a sub treasury, contributed to a relatively small portion of that overall spend, how are token holders feeling about keeping it open? Indica. About 54% of token holders do not want to refill the marketing bounty, citing poor return on investment, misalignment with the brand, and the unsustainability of the current spendings. The ref calling for the closure of the bounty is gaining more traction, currently sitting at 68% I, but with plenty of time before confirmation, this one could still go either way. And confirming with 69% I is the 598k dot top up request for the Inter Miami partnership, now rebranded as the Sports Sponsorship Fund. The recently launched Snowbridge is requesting about 5.8 million USD, a mixture of USDC and DOT, some of it vesting over a period of two years. The bridge is intended to operate as public good and proper development, audit and operation incentivization naturally cost a pretty penny. However, there's a possibility for the Pocket of Strategy if they wanted to, to change the bridge from being a fully sponsored project to a, a project that brings revenue into Polkadot. Othena, a Swiss company founded in 2018 and operating as an advanced authenticity and traceability as a service platform, is considering migrating over to Polkadot. Already operating on Ethereum, they're facing several issues that the Relay chain or the Jam chain should address and enable them to meet future regulatory requirements such as the EU's digital product passport. They're requesting 260k DOT to help with the migration and the refinement of their solution, citing the many benefits they will bring to the ecosystem. Back to you, Jay. Managing a decentralized treasury is not an easy task. It's not like we can just hand over the funds to a custodian to do all the work for us. Peanut. This week's broader crypto update premieres with more Celsius drama. To catch you up, Celsius was a custodian that rugged their users after gambling and losing. They went through a long bankruptcy, paying staff members and lawyers their massive rates. Instead of returning users what they were owed, users received only about 30% based on a USD price at the bottom of the market rather than their crypto amounts. Now, Celsius is suing users who withdrew their own funds before they locked down withdrawals, demanding returned funds at the price get this, at the top of the current market. This is another reminder to hold your own assets in your own custody, like Ledger, which now has a generic address usable across all Polkadot. In other news, Germany is selling a lot of Bitcoin. Or wait, are they buying it? That's all from me. Back to you, Jay. Celsius, what a fall from grace. Thank you, Peden. Here at the Coos, we put our treasury in the hands of Treasurer Blinken, and every week he has our transparency report. Chop chop, says the market. Short-term speculators and leverage users by and large have been wrecked lately. Most folks don't pay attention to things like the average cost to mine one Bitcoin and the correlation it has to capitulations, and they simply get caught off guard. We take things like that into consideration around here, and in short, we're sticking to our plan. Our validators are validating as per usual with consistent rewards on Kusama and inconsistent rewards on Polkadot. You can support the Coos by staking Dot or KSM with Bifrost, Talisman, Subwallet, or the Coos.xyz. Treasury allocations at the time of recording are about 36% Dot, 27% Stables, 14% ETH, 13% IBTC, and 7% VDOT, with the remainder being mostly Sub. Back to you, Jay. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.